What's up, Apple and King TV? My name is Akira. For some of you guys that know me from the Walmart video, my name is Akira. I am nine. And today my auntie will be showing you guys her fish recipe. So I'm doing the intro really quickly. But before we get started into the video, make sure that you guys subscribe to Apple and King TV. Make sure yeah. that you turn on the notifications and comment down below what's your favorite fish. These are one of the audiences coming to watch me. Hold on, the camera kind of uh, went floppy there. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started with the video. Bye guys, let's get into it. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna be preparing um, roast fish. So here I have my ingredients to make my stuffing for the fish. All right, and here I have my threaded cabbage. Usually I would use callaloo, but I cannot find any callaloo, so I'm using the cabbage. All right, and here I have my onions, a scallion, thyme, pepper. You know, you can use a piece of garlic also, but I don't feel like putting any garlic in it today. And um, so I'm gonna combine everything. All right. And then I'm also gonna add my powder fish seasoning. And guys, I'm Jamaican. I really don't go by measurement. I just eyeball everything. All right, so then I go and add my fish seasoning and also my garlic powder. I'm not using any fresh garlic, so I'm using a little garlic powder. And the most important ingredients, right? Grace cock soup mix if you don't have this in your fish mixture trust me it's not gonna taste good no. just kidding <laughs> but this is how we make it all right this is my way of making my roast fish and um usually i would add okra also but you have some people that don't like okra that's gonna be eating this fish so i'm gonna leave that out today all right so here I add two packs of noodle and um, I'm going to add a third one because I love the cock flavor in it and um, <clears throat> then I combine everything. So I combine all my mixture and like I said I just eyeball everything. And, um, you know, I don't really go by measurement. All right, that's just the way I cook. Kind of weird, but most Caribbean people, that's how we cook. My mother always said, when you're a cook, you're a cook. All right, so. Um, I'm just going to combine everything. All the mixtures. You can smell all the, you know, the herbs, the spices, smelling so good right now all right so I'm gonna combine this together and then I'm gonna add my butter all right and the butter will combine everything together and this is what you know when you roast your fish it gets all the seasoning in the in the fish marinates into the fish and make it yummy and juicy can't have fish without butter me use enough butter too so you just you know use it to your discretion and your liking also me i love a lot of butter to me it's more tasty all right okay so oops i have some big chunks of cabbage here i'm just gonna remove it all right, so this is how I make my stuffing for my fish. All right, and then I'm going to combine the butter. I'm going to combine the butter. Let me just grab a clean spoon in a second. My niece is grabbing me a, a clean spoon um, real quick. OK, 
Okay. So I'm going to add my butter. Like I said before, I just eyeball everything, guys. You know, I use a lot of butter. Some people might say, oh, it's too much butter. But trust me, if you taste my food, <laughs> ciao. And some people might say, oh, I never used cabbage stuff in before. There's a first for everything. One day I wanted the color low and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just improvise. And I tried the cabbage. And ever since then, it's one of my favorite go-to when I'm making my stuffed roast fish. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this. And then I'm going to set it aside and prepare my fish to be stuffed. And I'll get back to you guys in a few with how I prepare my fish, okay? All right. See you later. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to do my fish. All right. I'm going to clean my fish and get it ready to stuff. All right. So... A lot of people stuff their fish like this, right? But I don't do it this way. I like to get my stuffing all the way in my fish to make it more delicious, all right? So I like to go ahead and butterfly my fish. This is where you, you're basically filleting one side of the fish, okay? And you do it like so. You fillet one side of the fish and you leave it attached at the back. Okay, so I just wanted to do this one demonstration for you. And then I go ahead and get the rest all cleaned up. All right, so this is how I butterfly, I call it butterfly, I butterfly my fish so that I can get the stuffing all the way in from head to tail. All right, trust me, try it. You won't be disappointed, all right? catch you in a few okay so here goes my stuffing process now all my fish is all marinated and ready to be stuffed and this is how I do it so now I have my fish in my butterfly style where I could get all the stuffing in and again this stuffing is made from cabbage I love to use Kalaloo, but living here in the U.S. sometimes, we can't get that, especially in the winter time. So we have to use a substitute. Other people just use the natural, you know, ingredients and the onion skin in time and follow the same process that I did with the seasoning. But um, I like to have my stuffing, a filling stuffing. All right, so it's all stuffed. So this is why I butterfly the fish, as I call it. You slid it all the way down and leave it attached at the back where you can have it stuffed from head to tail. All right, this is how I like my fish. And then I go ahead with my wrapping cup. All right, there it goes. That's one down. That's one down. All right, so here goes another one. Put my stuffing in from head to tail. And then we close it in. gonna do another one then I'm gonna go ahead and get this all finished up all right
All right, guys, so I'm doing this last one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get it all finished up so I can be done at a timely fashion. All right? Okay, guys, so I'll catch you later when these bad boys are on the grill. Thank you for staying tuned, and I'll see you guys in a few. Some of them still at us already now. Oh, man, so chippy in back, is it? Mm. I'm gonna mash up this, you know. Uh, that day. Yeah. That I'm ready. That's a day. Them dead, my dad. Trouble. Trouble, Trouble. Trouble. Thank <laughs> you.